Mount Baker in the white boat at the top. West side coming back into the thing. And here we have holy names. You can see that Miami boat is being, it's, they've got a boat length on this field. But it, it looks like they just make it absorbed back into this field. We've got four boats across who are all racing each other. And they just may take this Miami boat down a little bit. With every stroke, here we've got lane five, Greenwich, moving deeper into this Miami boat. And you can bet that lane six, Holy Names and Pitfords, wants to go with Greenwich to try and chase down this, um, I'm sorry, Pitfords out front. This West Side and Holy Names going to go with Greenwich to try to catch up to this Pittsford crew. Pittsford, leader, coming into the 1,000 meter mark. A nice lead for Pittsford at the halfway mark. The women's lightweight eight. B final. Second place for the moment it belongs to Miami Rowing. Third place to Greenwich. Fourth place to Holy Names. Fifth place to Westside. Very exciting action happening here on Melton Lake in Oak Ridge. If you're joining us online, welcome to live streaming of the 2011 U.S. Rowing Youth National Championships. It's finals day, finals Sunday. This is the B finals for the women's lightweight eight. All these young ladies working hard to be top of the nation. The A final coming up next, but right now dominating the B final is Pittsford in lane four, well out front, making it kind of look easy as they row down Melton Lake at the 1250 mark. They have almost a full length of water open between their stern and the second place boat of Greenwich. Greenwich fighting with Miami rowing for that second place spot. Still in the mix too, Holy Names in lane six. Mount Baker in lane one holding their own as well. Very tight race here. While Pittsburgh's dominating the races really back here. For second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth in the B final, the women's lightweight eight. Exciting race here. Trying to kick it up a notch in lane five is Greenwich. But back here and working hard and maintaining contact with the group. West side in lane three is beginning to fall back. They are now in six. They've dropped to six. At the 1500 meter mark in the women's lightweight eight B final for the Youth National Championships, Pittsburgh with a very substantial lead. Second place, Greenwich. Third place is really a battle between Miami Rowing and Holy Names. Fourth place belongs to Mount Baker or uh, fifth place to Mount Baker. Sixth place to West Side. As the B final comes down to the final 250 meters, Pittsford in the lead with open water in front of second place Greenwich. The women's lightweight eight B final. Stay tuned because in just a moment the A final in the women's lightweight eight. And that includes the first and third place finishers last year and one that was just out of the medals, the women's Lightweight 8A final straight ahead after the wrap-up of the B final, heading towards the finish line with Pittsford in the lead. Hitting the buoys. Cox and Noshi has 250 more meters to go. Pittsford with a clear lead over the field here. So the question is for third place because that Greenwich boat in lane five, the blue boat, Seems to have second place pretty well cemented up. But who is going to be third for the bragging rights of the B final? Pittsford, open water on the field. Greenwich in second place. But then we have Holy Names. And Miami and Mount Baker on the outside there. So, Pittsford. Open water on the field, coming to the finish, looking very smooth, very nice here. So unofficially, B final winner is Pittsford.
Second place, Greenwich. And then Miami Rowing, oh, Mount Baker, Holy Names. And West Side. Nice racing, all competitors. That was great. We have final A underway just out of the starting blocks. We have lane one, Long Beach Juniors. Lane two, New Trier. Lane three, Community Rowing. Lane four, Oakland Strokes. Lane five, Sagatuck. And closest to the camera is lane six, Mount St. Joseph in the final A. And look at this. Woo, very nice. Long Beach maybe out a little bit, but this is early. No, we've got lane four, Oakland Strokes taking advantage here early in this race but look everybody's within a third of a boat of each other Oakland and community rowing they are going to be the leaders early on here man there's not much between them maybe community has a seat on Oakland but not much community Oakland and then on the outside Long Beach on the inside, Sagatuck with the gray bow, number five. We have Community, Long Beach, Oakland. Community with a lead, but between Long Beach, Long Beach and Oakland, hard to say. Those two raced each other at the Southwest Junior Championships. Community now, they're starting to put it down a little bit. They've got three, four seats on the field. Uh, over uh, Long Beach and Oakland at the 500. So community, Oakland or Long Beach. Sagatuck, Nutrier, and Mount St. Joseph in sixth. Now community is really starting to open it up, but everybody else has a lot of contact. Community and Oakland starting to move away from the field with community with a deck length lead over Oakland. Those two, not a boat length on the field. They haven't blown this open at all. Everybody else is still within very close contact here. We can see all six boats right here in this one shot. Mount St. Joseph pushing up, pushing up, pushing back into Oakland, bringing Sagatuck with them. On the outside, Long Beach, just a little bit, of he little bit ahead of New Trier. Looks like Sagatuck falling back just a little bit here as Mount St. Joseph puts a push on in the white, black, and purple. Let's go ahead and, spin on up. and now Mount St. Joseph putting it down. They're going to go after Oakland here. Oakland going after Community. Community with a half a boat length lead now as we get to the 1,000 meter mark. They row on the Charles River in Massachusetts. They were founded in 1985, first public rowing club in Boston, Community Rowing Inc. Here in the A final. In the 2011 U.S. Rowing Youth National Championships, they are in the lead. They were first in 2010, trying to repeat in 2011 community rowing in lane three, just dodging a cormorant. In second place currently is Oakland Strokes. They have something they'd like to do, too. They were fifth last year, and they'd like to be in the medals this year. Right now, they are in silver medal position right behind community rowing. Women's Lightweight 8 A final for the Youth National Championships here in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Community Rowing holding a boat lead with just a little bit of open water, two feet of open water between them. Uh, their stern and second place, Oakland Strokes. In third place, it's a fight between Mount St. Joseph, who was third in 2010, and New Trier. So Community Rowing out front and opening up even more water. Over second place, Oakland Strokes. Meanwhile, in the battle for third place in this A final for the women's lightweight eight for the youth national championships. Right now, it looks like the battle for thirds being 
held by New Trier, third place by New Trier. Mount St. Joseph, though, right there, bow to bow. Meanwhile, in fifth currently, it's Long Beach Juniors. And in sixth, Saugatuck. But Community Rowers ahead at the 1500 meter mark. The real battle will be for, I think, the bronze here in the final, the A final for the women's lightweight eight. Community Rowing looks like they have the gold wrapped up with 500 meters to go. Second place is Oakland Strokes in the orange hats. They are uh, still lagging behind Community Rowing. Community Rowing looking to repeat. They were the champions in this event in 2010, looking for a 2011 gold medal as well. Oakland Strokes in second place, and it will be a battle at the line for third between the Mount St. Joseph boat in lane six and New Trier in lane two. They are bow to bow, though it looks like Mount St. Joseph beginning to catch it up a notch. Their catch a little bit quicker, and they're pulling ahead of New Trier. So right now, the battle for third being won by Mount St. Joseph in the purple boat. The women's lightweight 8A final, 250 meters, less than that to go. Community rowing in first place. Oakland Strokes in second, fighting for third. The fight between Mount St. Joseph and New Trier. We'll have to see what happens at the line as they head towards the finish line here at Melton Lake in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Community rowing showing they are dominating this field. You can hear the crowd below yelling for their favorites. Community rowing, Oakland Strokes, Mount St. Joseph, New Trier. The Mount St. Joseph, New Trier battle seems to be going Mount St. Joseph's way right now. With community rowing long and smooth out in front. Oakland actually closing the gap a little bit say we're going to give you a good run for the money. We're not going to let you just walk away with this. Oakland trying to close that gap a little bit just for pride. But unofficially, nice long strokes with community rowing. Oakland. New Trier making a huge comeback. Mount St. Joseph in fourth place. Long Beach in fifth, and Sagatak. What a great battle between Nutrier and Mount St. Joseph for that bronze medal. But truly the class of the field was Community Rowing. Second place, Oakland. Third place, Nutrier. We're already five, six hundred meters into the women's four. Lane one, St. Louis. Lane two, Polk. 